I had too many tapes, system had to go. VHS or no, VHS or no. So I made this bitch and show. VHS or no, VHS or no. I'll go through them one by one. VHS or no, VHS or no. And in the process, have some fun. VHS or no, VHS or no, VHS. VHS or no. Hello, uh, welcome to VHS or No. My name's Keenan. Uh, tonight I have Miss Katie Johnson Smith with me. Um, and we're going to get totally pumped for C2E2 by watching uh, X Men, Captive Hearts. And uh, since they don't really have anything by DC, I don't think we're going to watch DC Talk, uh, which is not anything about comic books, but you'll get some good Christian morals through hip hop. Rap and soul. Rap, rock, and soul. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch X-Men and DC Talk. Double feature. So first up, DC Talk. Toby Mac. In the back, Mac is back, no slack. I used to know all the words to like a lot of their songs. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Are, are you um, a religious person? Or I you, used to be. Used to be more religious? When I was in middle school. Loved <laughs> them. I have their greatest hits album. And I, I've met Kevin before. And I was grounded from going to Toby, to, no, Michael, the Black Ones concert. Why? Because I got, I was failing chemistry. And so you couldn't go to the... I couldn't go to the Christian Music Christian concert. Music Festival. Mm -hmm. My mom was like, you can't go. And I, was, I thought it was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I told my chemistry teacher and he felt bad. He felt bad in his eyes, I saw. He didn't say anything. He just felt bad. But it was there. Bad. It was there. Because it was at his church. He was keeping me away from God. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Through science. Mm -hmm. Chemistry is not fun. It's not fun. My chemistry teacher was awful. Her name was Mr. Mrs. Cotus, but we'd call her Mrs. Godass. <laughs> <laughs> the intro! Yo, my name's Toby Mac, and I provide the rap for this posse. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> and I give it the rock that it needs. His voice is amazing. My name is Michael Tate, and I'm bringing the soul to this party. What is he wearing that vest for? <laughs> they probably so, got me. Together we yeah. made so often. Were you a Christian child? Yeah, I was. Uh, the Christian camp I went to, but it was just a weekend. Listen to the song, Jesus Freak. That is them. That was them. What would people say? No way! Holy shit. I gave, gave myself to God that weekend. Yeah, we I wrote a, a letter to him, put it in a Bible. All for a girl. All for a girl. <laughs> <laughs> do you know if they perform the guys still? I don't think they do anymore. They all have their own thing. Kevin, I have his solo CD. It's a lot of like just regular music. Yeah. And queen covers. And queen covers? Weird. There are six songs on this. New thing. Next up is I Love Rap Music. Yes, I can't wait. Then Walls, then He Look Loves Me, right here. Time to Jam and Heaven Bow. He's vanilla, <laughs> but he's definitely smooth. Well, I got the vanilla on the outside. <laughs> but God has blessed me with that chocolate <laughs> down deep in my soul. It's a urban thing. It's an urban thing. I almost <laughs> threw up. <laughs> Rap is punchy, rap is to the point. Rap is to the gospel across. Why are they doing this? Oh, their shirts are big. I have a dress that looks like Kevin's hair. Rap is it, G. Some people out there giving rap a bad name. Well, I'm here. Is that Louis Farrakhan? I love rap music. Don't. Was that Busta Rhymes? That might be Busta Rhymes. The 90s might have been the worst time for fashion. Really worst bad. Than the 80s. He's wearing a necklace that like a middle school girl should wear. It's like an odd blend of um, like, like 60s flower child and 80s adult. The worst version. Yeah. Yeah. 
This guy seems so <laughs> brooding. <laughs> <laughs> when I met him, he was very intense. But of course, I was completely starstruck because I was like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I saw him in a concert, like, it was like in a really, really, really small theater with only like 30 seats. I love your music and your voice is so great, I can eat it. He goes, oh yeah, let's take a picture of you biting my CD. Whoa. Oh. Oh, muscle man. <laughs> why is the muscle wow, man Why are there so wall? many sweaty, like, half naked men in their video? What is this? He just called himself a swirl. He like, black guy, white guy, swirl. Because he's black on the end. God made him black on the end. God made his penis. He's just got a giant black dick. Yes. Completely different, just right where the balls start. Just black. Remember when overalls were required and three of them? For one for each member of DC Talk. Oh, then. Okay. <laughs> you like so growing up, bro. What is that? Maybe we should burn him with the Ku Klux Klan. You know, and I don't like that guy. These other two schmucks, whatever, they're fine. But this guy looks like Christian Bale. I was right, he's gonna that. fight. He's a rat face. He would play more of like a really psycho, like, dude, maybe like shot at the school. Like, in a bad TV movie, just those beautiful but deadly eyes. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that for sure. Jesus. I went to a concert once, not realizing the bands that we were going to be playing were Christian bands. And I was with my friend, John. We're like, okay, cool. Like, a bunch of our friends invited us. We're like, awesome. And then all of a sudden, it's, the music starts. We're just like, what the fuck? And we made up some lie about like forgetting our shoes. My we're shoes like, are like, yeah, John forgot his shoes in the car. We're going to go get them. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. They don't fool around in malls there. Okay. <laughs> they go to malls in those places? The Christian lifestyle is not what people think. Yeah. People think it's like a boxed up kind of life where you, you can't do this, like you can't do that. That's yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. You can't, it's, it's you can't do this, price. you can't do that, or you go to hell. It's not a set of rules. No. That's what people assume it's a set of rules. But there are a set of rules. There are a set of like 10 big <laughs> rules. Yeah. 10 big rules. Yeah. Coming explicit with the gospel in the 90s. Oh, yes, my brother. You look like white trash. Yeah, he does. Are they there? They're in a mall. Oh, they're at one of those they're malls. In a mall. Like, yeah. Oh, there's the running man again. Yep. Oh, it's over. Choreographer Tavon Carter. Remember that name. Who are they thinking? Dan Arbrock. Their homeboy, her husband, with the video with them. Would be alive and kick him. Terry, Juan, Otero. Where's God's thank you? Oh, yeah. They forgot him. Where is God's thank you? Why is his name Jam up again? Oh, this is before the writing credits. So maybe they'll thank God now? They're gonna thank God? So they all thank themselves, but not God. Your whole message is just shot out the fucking door. At the I know, end of the I don't paper. believe a thing of it. God is dead, and so is DC Talk. This is gone. I am not keeping this. What? You want it? Yeah. You want it? <laughs> okay, <do>. awesome. <laughs> Let's move on to X-Men. Okay. Okay. What do you think would happen if I based a whole burlesque show off of DC Oh, Talks DC Talk? <laughs> I'd say do it. And you get everybody in giant, under like, ridiculous hats. Oh, and the overalls, too, mm. would work well with boobies. Yes. Because you can just have that overall strap. Yeah. Like but then the, but you're going to have a lot of jumbling around with the running man. Mm. There should just be a whole number called running man. It's just <laughs> half naked women doing the running man. <laughs> to heaven bound. Yes. Heaven bound. Don't you know I'm heaven, heaven bound. Alright. X-Men. X-Men captive hearts. A relaxing night on the town is shattered when Cyclops and Jean Grey are kidnapped by the Morlocks. A mad band of mutants inhabiting, inhabiting the dark sewer systems of New York. Oh my gosh. Best.
Morph is dead at this point. That sounds like the way I'm from Kingdom Hill. Yeah, that's what it does. Pretty Murphy. Is dead now. When the time comes, Dawn, it may not be a matter of choice. Yeah. Love. That's one of the that's one of the most tragic stories I think is the whole triangle between uh, Wolverine, Jean Grey, and, and Cyclops. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Why did you have a picture of them? Pretty one. Yeah. I am Callisto. I can't tell if she has boobs or just like pets. I know I was thinking the same thing. Where are they? I think she has animals that like no. Sent this one into trouble to help show you the way. Yeah, she's flat. Right. Flat's Where's Kate? Scott and Jean picked one strange romantic hideaway. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, hey, we, hey, no. The other thing I never understood about, um, from, what's his name? Gambit. Gambit. Is why does he have, what is that black thing on his face for? It's just part of his <laughs> to keep his hair? Yeah, keep his hair like that. Baker style. No. <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would your superpower be? Oh my goodness. I would like to predict the future. You sure? No. Because what if you knew it and you knew somebody you were really close to was going to die? Yeah, I wouldn't want to know And you that. couldn't do anything about it. I would like the power to give my friends all the opportunities they deserve. So like a luck power. A luck power. Okay. Yeah, how about you? I always wanted Morph's power to change into something. Or like kind of a Wonder Twins power to change into an animal. Because then you could be strong, you know, you turn into a rhino. Or you want to fly, you turn into an eagle. You know? And then I could turn into a woman. And be like, alright, so attractive. My mom when they were little kids, my brother would buy X-Men comics and my mom would take them to your shirt and put the clothes on the women, put like boxy dresses on all the women. What? And ruin his comic books? Yeah, because you know, they're all like super, scantily clad. Super scantily clad busty. Yeah. Were they good dresses or were no, they just they were just like boxy dresses. This is the same mother who for Christmas gave my brother a couple of the He was maybe in middle school. She gave him his own personal DVD player, cool, and also like the unrated version of Saving Silverman. And unrated just means there are tits there. Yeah, there's lots of boobs. Yeah. yeah. It was like basically like she said, here is your own little personal masturbation theater. Go up into your room and masturbate as much as you want. My mom once tried to give me the Victoria's Secret catalog when I was in ninth grade oh, or something. No. Like, she knew that I would take it, but anyway, I would take that, and she also, for some reason, got Frederick's of Hollywood, so I don't know what the hell my mom was actually wearing, or why she was getting Frederick's of Hollywood, but, but anyway, I would, I would take them out of the recycling for my own, you know, adolescent needs, but then she came up to me one day and was like, oh, do you want this when I'm done? I was just like, no, I don't know what you're talking about, that, that's gross. The gesture is like, I get it, I think that this is a nice gesture. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they're getting lightsabers. lightsabers. And she's got a dark, uh, dark, dark maul. Wait, they both do. But they're burning, but they're holding it by the... the by the light. No, they're by the middle. No, Storm's holding it. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's totally touching the light part of it. So how is it supposed to hurt somebody else? Not yeah, hurt. so what's the point? Make out, make out. Oh, you're so sad. Uh, sad, 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 sad. I also always wondered why um, like Professor X had like the King and I uh, he totally make up. Does. <laughs> He's it's one of those, and yeah. I, it's the only one I have. All right, well, what do you think about X Men? I think you should keep it. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep X Men. Uh, Katie Justin Smith, my lovely guest tonight, is going to keep DC Talk for herself to take it home and do with. It, what she will. I'm gonna draw boxy dresses on all of them. <laughs> so that I'm not, too sexy. Tempted, I'm not I don't want to be tempted to masturbate to this picture. <laughs> Alright, so well, yeah, this has been VHS or No. My name is Keenan. Once again, Katie Jonathan Smith. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night.